Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you this afternoon to talk about the Strong Farm and Rural Short Destination Program. I am Mark Ziegler, founder and CEO of Exa Group Canada. To have a complete experience, open your mind to our chat. Since I started present the Strong Farm Destination Program, many doubts have arisen due to the scope of our plan to regenerate the planet. Have a device with you so that all doubts are noted. I will answer all of them at the end of the presentation. As time short, if I cannot answer all of you today, please email me your questions at ceo at exagroup.ca. You can also enter on our website and send your doubt through one of our available forms. Go to www.exagroup.ca and get all the information about our startup and a lot of excellent content about tourism, sustainability, and rural development. The history of Exa Group Canada started early. Exa Group began in Brazil. I had my first company between 2011 to 2015, and at the time called Exa Tour Consultants. I arrived in Canada in 2018, and since then, I have tried to find ways to present a different knowledge about tourism and rural development. In December 2020, I opened Exa Group Canada in Ontario and migrated with the startup to Nova Scotia in April 2021. Since then, I have done some projects in Canada and Mexico related to the Strong Farm and Rural Shore Destination Program. Now, we are doing a fantastic job in the Tayac Rural Development Program, coast to coast to coast of Canada. Now, this program comes to you. Precisely for this reason, your participation is crucial because I not only want to present our thoughts on sustainability and regeneration, I want to listen to you because that is the only way we will be able to create an environment of prosperity for the achievement of our goals and to develop solutions necessary for the challenges of sustainable development. Today, we are going to talk about the international programs that guided the creation of strong farm destinations and how multicultural knowledge can generate results for the bottlenecks and gaps related to the economic growth of rural communities in Canada. When I speak of a rural community, I also include indigenous peoples who live in rural areas throughout Canada's immense territory. I know the day has begun long. I am glad that you have absorbed all the information from past presentations. Tayak has assembled a fantastic team of professionals to talk with you about tourism and sustainability. Our presentation closed the day of knowledge. In the end, you will understand that the Swan Farm and Rural Shore Destination Program was developed to unite this knowledge and add value to the partner's communication. With the union of all of us, we will be able to regenerate our planet using tourism as the most powerful and effective tool for sustainable development. Sustainability is the path to regeneration. And today, we are going to talk about that. Take a glass of water, cough, tea, juice, or any other drink you feel like having to rest. You are about to enter an environment with different directions and points of view. Today, I will introduce you to the holistic universe of tourism. So, let's start. International reference. I believe that diplomacy is the best way to approach and develop tourism as it brings together multidisciplinary thinking. Diplomacy brings together knowledge about geography, history, international politics, international law, economics, international relations, international trade, language, communication, etc. Tourism is no different. Tourism encompasses many other areas of knowledge. But for the sustainable development of tourism industry to occur, we must pay attention to the reference knowledge of diplomacy. The Strong Farm and Rural Shore Destination Programs 
take this stance. We believe that diplomacy can help the development of the PPC, Public-Private Community Partnership Model. This is the kind of partnership that makes tourism the solution to the problems facing the planet. We want to develop the Strong Farm and Rural Shores Destination Program in Canada to soon export solutions to other developed, developing and underdeveloped countries. Canada is a model for our world and we are creating it. I will present to you some programs that served as a reference for developing this excellent work I am talking about today. Due to our quality and continuous improvement plan, a strong farm easily adapts to new international contests. We are very flexible and can adapt to different scenarios without negatively impact the cost, risks, scopes and schedule of our management process and operational procedures. The first international program that influenced this work and my life mission was the United Nations 2003 Agenda. Since the death of Chico Mendes in 1988, our planet has started to talk more about sustainability. One of the critical points for this conversation was the event, the Earth Summit in 992, also known as Rio 92, Rio Conference, or the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development. I was born in 1985, but because I belong to a family linked to rural development in different Brazilian states, I was able to learn about and live the history and every line of progress triggered by these events that I mentioned. The 2003 Agenda is the result of the 1992 Earth Summit. In 2015, the United Nations signed the commitment to develop sustainability on our planet by 2030. There are 70 sustainable development goals with 169 specific targets so that we can achieve these goals in 2030. My colleagues have already spoken about this topic for you today, but if you still have any doubts, please write down your questions and feel free to talk to me. If I do not answer you today, send it to my email, ceo at xgroup.ca. The Rural 3.0 Policy Framework for Rural Development is a fantastic document that helps us think about public and private policies, rural development, and the impact of the, the economy on rural communities, as well as the result of this impact on metropolitan areas and communities catching up with the economy. This document was developed by the OECD, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. I will quote a sentence for the, the organization so that you can understand the beauty of this international reference. According to the very words of the publication OECD Regional Outlook 2016, Productive Regions for Inclusive Societies, Rural Policy 3.0, should be to increase rural competitiveness and productivity to enhance the social, economic, and environmental well-being of rural areas. Within this approach, policies should focus on enhancing competitive advantages in rural communities and draw on integrated investments and the delivery of services adapted to the needs of different types of rural areas. The Rural Policy 3.0 describes a partnership drive approach that builds capacity at the local level to encourage participation and bottom-up development. Practices from, this, from select OECD countries are drawn to illustrate this approach. I was in Alberta from this, uh, the 12th to the 20th of November 2022. I have been in 10 cities and held the first in Strong Farm Destination Workshop at the University of Alberta in Edmonton. I discovered that one of the biggest challenges facing rural communities and farms in the regions I visited was related to rural development and tourism policies, especially when the subject is agritourism. 
Developing policies is complex. They are often designed without proper alignment with other sectors and may not be practical or generate little results regarding tourism expectations and strategies. The integration of intersectional policies sustains regional development and promotes economic catch-up dynamics to increase the life expectancy and well-being of residents, immigrants, and visitors. Tourists must take responsibility for combining policies across different sectors to unlock the growth potential of regions and ensure that this growth brings solutions to the sustainable development goals of the 2030 Agenda. There is no magic formula or a specific methodology for creating these policies, but they must consider the context, ecosystem, and local biodiversity of these communities and regions. Policymakers in rural communities and metropolitan areas with influence on rural communities must recognize that they are not specially driving and can have different impacts in different types of regions and tools create strategies to address needs with continuous improvement aspects for adaptation in different scenarios. The OECD says that strategies that connect only in the weak regions are likely to lose potential growth compared to approaches that adopt an integrated regional vision. What is needed are policies and that increase productivity in our areas while protecting against possible adverse effects on equity, both in terms of ICOM and non-ICOM outcomes that are important for well-being. Let us calculate how many economic crises we have experienced in recent years. 1. World financial crisis in 2008. 2. Health crisis with SARS and MERS in 2012 and 2013. 3. Health and social crisis with COVID-19 with severe impacts in 2020 and 2021. It's still in your midst causing implications in different countries around the planet. 4. Economic, energy, and food crisis caused by Russia's senseless wars with Ukraine. 5. Humanitarian crisis around the world. 6. Environmental impacts due to climate change in all countries. Nothing else will if all this does not change your thinking about economics. Following this reasoning, the World Economic Forum created and has been developed the economic thoughts with the Great Reset Initiative, a new way of understanding the economy to create a new economic path for the planet, aiming to meet the 17 Sustainable Development Goals of the 2003 Agenda for the regeneration of our planet. We need to understand more about the economy to start a moment of reflection and revolution. Do you know what the moments of change in the theory of the world economy, economy were? In 1776, Adam Smith created the first classical economics theory. After that, we experienced the Great Depression from 1929 to 1939 due to people's lack of vision to change the economic direction from the classical model to a post-industrial revolution community. Then came John Maynard Keynes and Milton Friedman to change the monetary start, the standard, create a new economic thought uh, more linked to capitalism, directing this new liberal model that we live in. Some changes occurred within the pattern influenced by inflation in the United States during the war in Vietnam. However, no consistent change has taken place in science and economic theory, if the integration of communist countries into the capitalism system, mainly as a result of the Berlin Wall fall, the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the China's entry into an international political game, and all the other cries I mentioned a few minutes ago, does not make us think that it's time to an economic revolution. The World Economic Forum's Great Reset Initiative will help us spark that interest. Another international commitment influencing the Strong Farm Destination Program is a Glasgow Declaration on Climate Action in Tourism 
agriculture, and many other global economic sectors. We live in, in one planet, my friends. Therefore, tourism must be linked to other economic sectors to generate wealth, health, well-being, security, etc. for productivity growth. The tourism industry depends on the trade sector, which requires services from other industries, such as food, accommodation, maintenance, legal advice, marketing, etc. And all the works filling those jobs create demands for local services like babysitters, mixologists, baristas, personal trainers, etc. I will let you in on a secret here. Productivity growth is accompanied by job growth. Suppose we don't, do not reach net zero carbon between 2035 and 2050. In that case, we will not have jobs anymore because the planet will burn with global warming and different social, environmental, sanitary and economic problems will prevent the recovery of our world. The Glasgow de Declaration helps us think about different ways of acting to conscience advances in climate change and avoid a mass extinction on our planet caused by our ancestors and by many of us who do not care about what is happening. Indeed, money is good and keeps our consumption, often exaggerated, but better than money is to preserve our life. We need to act in search of sustainability and the regeneration of our, our planet. There is no other way. Canada has a vast territory. We are the second largest country in the world, with an approximate area of 10 million kilometers square. According to Statistics Canada, Canada's population grew by a record of 703,000 people plus 1.8% to reach an estimated 39 million residents in July 1, 2022. According to Statistics Canada, Canada's rural communities are home to approximately 6,700,000 residents. Imagine this population is cut red in rural areas of the country according to the map taken from the Statistics Canada website. Following this line of reasoning, we have a fantastic program from the United Nations World Tourism Organization to serve as an example for developing tourism systems in rural communities, the Best Tourism Village Program. This program is specific to rural communities with less than 15,000 inhabitants, which is fantastic for directing tourism thinking in rural communities in Canada. Although the program has some restriction on participation, it requires extraordinary strategic thinking toward develop these destinations, exalting these communities' cultural, gastronomic, natural, and architectural heritage. All this can be adapted to create these places aimed at regenerating communities and positively impact other international agendas. Why a strong farm destination? Everything we have and use is somehow linked to the rural environment. We can compare our leaves to a farm. To be born, we need a seed planted in our mother's fertile wombs. After we are born, our parents dedicate themselves to feeding our physical body and so we grow, developing our skills so that in the future we can harvest all the fruit of that dedication with the results of our work. The farm is no different, regardless of whether we have crops or livestock. We must nourish the, the land so the produce is health and generates wonderful results during harvest. Since the beginning of humanity, we have sought fertile areas to build strong communities use the resources provided by nature. We build our, our house with wood. We wear our clothes with cotton, develop technology with, crit with critical minerals, essential for the sustainable food tree without using fossil fuels, and feed our mornings with coffee, milk, and a little bit of sugar. I prefer an express with no sugar. <laughs> A strong farm, strong people, strong community.
A strong farm destination directs strategy so that farms can develop a diversified economy. Still, in addition, a strong farm destination leads strategies to that people are included in an environment of prosperity and catch up of raw regions by showing the world that regeneration begins where the whole process of evolution of humanity began. A strong farm destination challenges people to think future and see that they can build community-based economies to overcome the crisis that impact our planet from time to time. The inclusion of the name Rural Shore Destination was due to the difficulty of interpretation that the term Strong Farm Destination brought to different communities in Canada. But I believe that with this presentation, we, you will no longer have any doubts about the meaning of our program. There is a colossal mistake in marginalizing rural communities, thereby affecting the development of these regions with less innovation, less prosperity, slow recovery, and a lack of opportunity and productivity. The Strong Farm Destination Program gives these communities a voice, so people can understand the value that rural areas bring to lives in cities and large metropolitan areas. The goal of the Strong Farm Destination is to prevent the urbanization of these communities, promoting new paths for the productive and sustainable development of the rural environment, and creating opportunities for inclusion and diversity for people who live and dedicate themselves daily to maintaining global harmony in continuous improvement. Do you know what rural development means? First, we must understand that there are different rural areas. Canada is an OECD member country. So let's uh, use some available definitions to illustrate the abstract concept of rural development. First, let's understand what functional areas are. According to the OECD, functional areas are geographical areas defined by the economy and social integration and not by traditional administrative borders. A functional region is an independent economic unit according to the chosen applicable criteria, like commuting, water, services, or a school district. Now, let's understand what functional urban areas are. According to the OECD, functional urban areas are defined as a densely populated municipalities, urban centers, and adjacent cities with high levels of displacement to densely populated urban centers, commuting zones. According to a definition developed by the OECD and the European Union, functional urban areas can extend beyond administrative boundaries. The OECD tracks functional urban areas of 50,000 inhabitants and more. Now, the three concepts of rural regions. These definitions are in the OECD Regional Outlook 2016 Productive Regions for Inclusive Societies document. Rural areas inserted in functional urban areas. These types of areas are an integral part of the commuting area of the urban center, and their development is fully integrated into a functional urban area. Rural regions close to a functional urban area. These regions have strong ties to a nearby functional urban area, but are not part of its labor market. There are flows of goods, environmental services, and other economic transactions between them. Although the urban and regional economies are not integrated, much of the rural region's growth is linked to the development of the functional urban area. Most rural people in the OECD countries live in this type of rural region, including Canada. Remote rural regions. These regions are far from a functional urban area. Connections to functional urban areas occur mainly through uh, the market exchange of goods and services. There are only limited and infrequent personal interactions outside the rural region but there are good 
connections with the region. The local economy largely depends on the export of the area's primary activities like agriculture, mining, forest, gas and oil, etc. Growth comes from building areas of absolute and comparative advantage, improving connectivity to export markets, matching skills with areas of comparative advantage, and improving the delivery of essential services. As an example, tourism. Now that you have all this information, I will challenge you to understand my concept of rural development. Since there is no ready-made concept for this, I will, present it, I will present to you my concept, developed especially for the Strong Farm Destination Program. For me, rural development ensures the fair distribution of economic benefits and productivity results in rural communities. Increase employment opportunities, protecting natural resources and biodiversity, protecting cultural, architectural, and linguistic heritage, promote inclusion and social diversity, empowering local communities and traditionally disadvantaged groups, in particular, indigenous people, youth, people with physical and intellectual disabilities, women, veterans, and the LGBTQ community. Rural development makes rural communities more accessible for residents, immigrants, and visitors, providing quality of life, health, education, well-being, and security in a prosperous environment and constant continuous improvement for different generations. Exa Group Canada is finalizing planning for the new rural tourism and agritourism for rural development occurs. There will be 10 video lessons lasting 45 minutes each, given live in June, July, and August 2023 on our education platform linked to the website www.exgroup.ca. In this course, you will have access to the definitions of rural tourism and agritourism. You will understand how to manage successful projects for the sustainable development of business and policies for rural communities. <clears throat> it's time to talk about the pilot programs and projects that brought the Strong Farm and Rural Shores Extension Program to your attention today. Unfortunately, due to the time of our presentation, I will mention some details about the development of these works the budget of each one, the number of professionals involved in each project, the partnerships and the results. If you are interested in finding out more, visit our website at www.exagroup.ca slash strongfarm or email our team at operations at exagroup.ca or myself directly at ceo at exagroup.ca. Our startup team and I will be delighted with your contact and we will answer you as soon as possible. The first pilot program related to the developing strong farm and rural shores destination is called Hortifruit Sapicad. It was developed between January 2016 and December 2017 in, in Brazil, in the rural community of São João da Serra Negra, in Patrocínio, Minas Gerais. This project impacted the economy in Patrocínio, Guimarães, Cruzeiro da Fortaleza, Santana de Patos, and Patos de Minas. We grew food in a, an area of 32 hectares, approximately 79 acres. We conducted topographical planning, soil analysis, and optimization of water resources, mainly for rainwater use and pest control. We created a communication channel for online sales from the farm to the client's table in the city. We made the territorial governance mode to include other local rural producers and expand our, the economy opportunities of the rural community to impact the project. We created the logistics system for the daily distribution of food. 
we presented new opportunities for health and well-being in the urban area by consuming fresh, health and organic food. Also, we created a food security initiative to help people live in poor areas in the city. We built strong partnership with families who bought food weekly consumption for weekly consumption. We used tourism as a sales strategy promoting monthly campaigns where clients competed for a day at one of the farms that supply hortifruits habitat. With each purchase, the client won a coupon and at the end of the month, there was a raffle. The farm experience presented the agricultural production model, trails in the middle of nature, lectures on agriculture and local culture, gastronomic immersions, and live music with local artists. The initial investment of 100,000 reais brought a return six months after the start of sales and presented a profitability rate of 35% the first year. Different factors contributed to the return of on investment, mainly the family management model and the territorial governance. The next project was COVID-19 risk management developed for the company I worked for when I arrived in Canada. This company held government contracts. My project was adopting five wastewater and water treatment plants, in addition to 13 pump stations, including elevated tanks in Mississauga, Brampton, and Caledon. In addition to an organic waste treatment plant, plant in Toronto, a church in Mississauga, and a residential building in downtown Toronto. In this project, in addition to having created the risk management and contingency plan in the first phase of the impact of COVID-19 in Canada, I managed, trained, and maintained the work of 36 employees in continuous improvement and safety. I worked with a budget of $1.5 million on this project. I managed to maintain together with the project's operational team the work of dozens of employees responsible for essential services of the government in impacted cities. The Sustainable Communities Wave project started a strong farm destination program in Canada. Exit Group Canada has a program called 10-Year Countdown, which started in December 2020 to bring knowledge, education, and leisure to people during the lockdown period caused by COVID-19. Our experience were online through our website. It was a solution to help people learn more about tourism, sustainability, and rural development, create a holistic environment for the mental health of people looking for things to do. We served at Rocks Farm in Lawrencetown Beach, Eastern Shore region of Nova Scotia, free of charge with the technical visit of AXA Group Canada. This technical visit generated the technical report for developing tourism and agri strategies related to the expectations and conditions of the owners. Through the report, Atrax Farm managed to fundraise with CBDC Blue Water and paid AXA Group Canada to develop the project's business plan and feasibility analysis. This project is being developed with a budget of $300,000 raised through the technical report of AXA Group Canada. Our startup developed the work between October 2021 and February 2022 that Rocks Farm started executing the business plan in March 2022 and has been developing the planning in stages due to delay in releasing licenses and permits for the construction of new areas of agriculture and tourism on the farm. This project faced and still faced several challenges, but it brought a new economic perspective for the owners with the great financial results obtained in 2022. Exa Group Canada invested in planning and developing the Eastern Shore Research and Development Project from June 27 to September 3, 2022. The Eastern Shore region of Nova Scotia is a little known and underdeveloped due to a lack of foresight from the public representatives and the caution of some local people responsible for regional economic planning in addition to other challenges of management and community engagement with immigrants.
We conducted research and mapping with drones in different communities, communicated with various economic development agents and with local and metropolitan governments, held meetings to present the results and create the first project directions related to the initial stage of the Strong Farm and Rural Charge Extension Program that serve as reference for adaptation in different scenarios in Canada and other countries around the world. We invested $20,000 uh, in the development of this work. As of September 3, 2022, Exa Group Canada has been developed a strong farm and rural shores station program with the Tourism Industry Association of Canada, leading new sustainability thinking for rural communities in the TIAC Rural Development Program. We are conducting technical visits throughout Canada for empirical knowledge work, obtaining necessary information and having exclusive winter experience in this incredible and prosperous country. In addition, at the end of, of a week of visits to different communities, we delivered the first workshop of the Strong Farm and Rural Shores Extension Program in each province and territory we visit. This workshop presents all the in initial information necessary for the development of the program. It executes techniques created by Exo Group Canada to engage the residents of rural communities to awaken new thinking about catching up and economic growth. As a result, we are writing a book and producing 10 45 minutes video documentaries about the Strong Farm and Rural Shores Destination Winter Expedition. If your province receives our technical visits and the workshop, participate. It will be a pleasure to get to know your business, talk to you, discover the rich your community, of your communities and welcome you to our workshop. This is an excellent opportunity to interact with Axel Group Canada and Strong Farm Destination in person. We are investing in two exciting projects to develop solutions for rural communities in Canada's northern territories and Atlantic provinces. Despite being different projects, both can be adapted to the realities of our communities. We don't know yet the reality of life in northern Canada's territories. The technical visit will arrive in this region at the end of February and the beginning of March. We are studying and conducting research with public data to overcome knowledge barriers and are engaging other professionals related to architecture, construction, sustainable electrical engineering, and venture capital and investment companies in addition to business responsible for certification and analysis of sustainability performance to support the innovative idea of our project. On November 23, 2022, during my presentation on the Regenerative Tourism Panel at the 2022 TAIA Congress in Ottawa, I started to communicate an idea that can help communities in the Canadian North to achieve waste solutions for basic sanitation, innovation in green energy and food security by directing exclusive tourism experiences to a selected public, with the idea that this public can boost future investments in the communities of influence. In addition, through the partnership we have established with Stefan Picard, owner of the Cliff Valley Astronomy, the first astro-tourism company in New Brunswick, we are emphasizing the development of activities related to space and astronomy. This is a trend in the new space race between North America and China. If you still don't now have information about this, I suggest you Google the reports about this new space race where the territory of the moon is disputed between the United States and China. With the advancement of space research, mainly related to the results of the James Webb Telescope, NASA's Perseverance robot and the Genuine helicopter on Mars, the SpaceX Mars programs, planning for NASA missions on the moon, the planet is preparing for a future expansion in the space race. The Canadian Space Agency is working with NASA to develop new technologies to produce food for the future space missions. The northern communities, particularly Nunavut, have specific conditions for developing this technology. Since the 1960s, 
Canada has been aware of the problems of food insecurity in the Northern Territories, and it is time for a solution to serve everyone who lives in these areas. When working on the theme of food, we noted that need for technology to address the future and the urgent need for food insecurity. When we think about helping our communities, we can expand our thinking to achieve excellent results and create opportunities that still don't exist. Exit Group Canada is developing a prototype to build a container farm in a structure where tourism will be the primary reference for recovery and economic development. We plan to build container farms to support the nutrition of 300 people per month with high nutritional value foods such as potatoes, beets, and tropical fruits. Our idea is to create a solution for the waste of existing containers, since the cost of returning these containers to their place of origin exceed the limits of the economic viability of logistics companies. To heat the containers and make production viable, we are planning the development of biodigesters for the fast of people who live in these communities and for the manure of animals raised in this place. This type of technology already exists in countries in different parts of the world, more specifically in the Middle East, Africa and South America. We call us poo power. Calculating the number of people who will benefit from these foods, the human fast biodigester will receive the fast of 300 people, who can produce an average of 150 kilos of fast per day, with an average of 4,000 kilograms, 500 grams of waste per month. The biodigester can produce 2,250 kilowatts of energy per month, which will be enough to hit the container farm station. In this line of reasoning, we found solutions for the wasting containers to eliminate the use of fossil fuels in the promotion of green energy, and we created a solution for advancing global warming, eliminating carbon emissions from the process. In addition, we create nutritional solutions for people who live in the area covered, reducing the problem of food insecurity in the region, and creating strategy to expand knowledge and technology to feed future space scientists and astronauts. In addition, thinking about continuous improvement, we can develop solutions for growing food in challenged environments like the Moon. For the container farm to be financially maintained, we are planning the construction of a recreation area that works during the spring and summer primarily aimed at indigenous communities that present cultural richness with art, music, theater, dance, and other exhibitions, aspects of the life and heritage of local people. This area will also feature educational presentations to expand the knowledge of local communities, empowering people to see and build new paths to community-based economics for themselves. Our planning also includes constructing an astronomy center for space research and astrotourism. The audience we intend to serve are scientists, astronauts, astronomers, geophysicists, professional nomads, and explorers. The four accommodation areas produced are 100% sustainable to accommodate these people, and a rest area with jacuzzi will be offered in an environment overlooking the incredible Arctic landscape. Exa Group Canada believes that the impossible is for tools without vision, and with planning, we know that great ideas can transform the world and people's lives. That is precisely why we always say that we all need to be together at this moment, to find the solutions that our planet needs. Going to the Atlantic promises, in 2024, we will experience a huge solar eclipse, and New Brunswick will be the best place in Canada to watch this once-in-a-life event for many people. The last total eclipse of this magnitude happened in, in 1972. I wasn't even born. In partnership with Cliff Valley Astronomy, we are hosting uh, from April 7 to 9, 2024, the event in Dogtown, New Brunswick in the beautiful region of Miramich. When I talked to a professional from an association in New Brunswick about the opportunity for one of our technical visits, the event, and the strategic thinking for Dogtown, he asked me the following sentence. 
What will you do in Dortal if there is nothing there? There is a tremendous challenge in, pre in presenting people with innovations for catching up in the economic growth in rural communities. For some people, this place will always have nothing to offer. It's a lack of vision. Throughout our presentation today, we talked about economics for rural communities and the importance these communities have in our daily lives in cities. So, the answer to the question comes now. First place, Dortal will be the unique place in Canada that the vision of this total eclipse will be totally clear. The best place to watch the, solar, the total solar eclipse. Dortal is one of the New Brunswick four dark sky areas. In addition, the logistical communication with Fredericton and Miramich is perfect for receiving visitors from different parts of Canada and the world. We have already people looking to this event from the United States. The rural community will be the starting point for the astrotourism strategies that Exa Group Canada and Cliff Valley Astronomy are developing for New Brunswick. This strategy can benefit all Atlantic provinces. The Cliff Valley Astronomy Network for astronomy-related issues in Canada and the United States create communication links with South American countries. Soon, Exa Group Canada will help this connection happen with Chile's stakeholders. We still start publicizing the event on February 15, 2023, and you will be able to guarantee your place in advance. We are initiating communication with other businesses in Dogtown area to create a network of relationships and benefit the entire community with tour packages ranged from two to seven nights. If you have a tourism business in the Atlantic provinces and northern territories, and would like to participate in our astrotourism strategy for the dark sky regions, please contact X Group Canada at www.xgroup.ca at ceo at xgroup.ca or Cliff Valley Astronomy at ceo at cliffvalleyastronomy.com or www.cliffvalleyastronomy.com we are always available to create partnerships as we know that positive impact and results are inevitable when we all work together. Rural Development and Canadian Immigration Programs Canada is investing in immigration programs to bring thousands of people to live in the country and increase the country's productivity. Different provinces are working with immigration projects focused on rural areas. Part of this strategy is because inequality in cities is growing, and one of the sources of inequality is the centralization of immigrants and the integration of cities with us. I am an immigrant. This relationship is perceived in countries that receive immigrants aiming at increased productivity for economic catch-up. With this perspective in mind, we can examine why provincial governments are creating immigration strategies for rural areas. It is precisely here that tourism can be used as a strategy for rural development. Tourism can help rural communities to develop the right conditions to facilitate the integration of immigrants into the local country, expanding housing opportunities, which include the construction of new homes and new prospects for real estate, offering job opportunities, directing new education perspectives, enabling new policy models for healthcare, and strengthening the presence of communities in the engagement for the integration of insectoral policies and at different levels of government and associations to sustain regional development and promoting catch-up dynamics, increase aggregate productivity. However, we must be aware of thinking that immigrants are an excellent opportunity to meet the needs of rural areas. The fragmentation of rural thinking can accentuate the challenge of welcoming these immigrants in an environment where the reception can be both friendly 
and hostile to immigration. Can you see if your rural community is prepared to receive immigrants and meet public planning expectations? Observe if your community is investing in roads, educational infrastructure, infrastructure for economic development, infrastructure for recreation and culture, housing, health infrastructure, public transport, waste treatment and basic sanitation, and distribution of water and renewable, renewable energy source. All this must be taken into account for the development of sustainable tourism system, that the goal of the Strong Farm Destination Program for rural communities to help these places spark that vision. The territorial governance, which many people like to call community governance in Canada, usually is not part of the productive discussion, but this ceases to exist when the Strong Farm Destination Program comes into play. Residents of communities impacted by this development must be part of this debate and engage to help their local government achieve these goals. Knowing this, let's go to the final stage of our presentation today. How your business, farm and community can start the Strong Farm and Rural Shores destinations? It, this is the essential question for all of you who want to know how to start developing the Strong Farm Destination Program in your community and how to interact your business or farm with the productivity aimed at recovery and economic growth of this fantastic proposal. The first stage will always be the research, mainly the impact empirical work carried out by the technical visit of the EXA Group Canada. This is essential for business and farms as it is for communities. The technical visits analyze the environment, socioeconomic issues, culture and heritage, marketplace and the local regional infrastructure and superstructure. For communities, technical visits are vital to assess issues such as carrying capacity, public policies, productivity, and financial and environmental impact related to the history of visitors, among other technical, scientific, and operational aspects of tourism. The second stage is hold the Strong Farm and Rural Shores Extension Program Introduction Workshop, the engagement meetings, and the training necessary for successfully constructing the program's development base. The third stage is the construction of the group responsible for governance of the development of the sustainable tourism system in the communities of influence. This committee or group should be made, of, made up of residents. It will have the impact of different national and international professionals to assist in the communication and mediation of debates to establish guidelines and policies for tourism and rural development. Support will be provided through the member area of the EXA Group Canada platform, with the possibility of migrating to specific platforms after initial development, giving the communities autonomy to develop the future strategies with or without the support of EXA Group Canada. We are empowering people. The fourth step is the creation of individual websites and social media so that people can tell their own histories and the histories of their business and communities. We are seeing a pattern change in online visitor search for authentic tourism experiences in rural and indigenous communities worldwide. Online search are decentralized from the destination market organization's website. In, in phases, in, the storytelling of people developing sustainability and regenerating their own communities. By developing these steps, communities, businesses and farms are ready to create the first three projects of the Strong Farm Destination Program. The first is the Strong Farm Food Festival. This project creates a communication environment between local food producers, restaurants and accommodation companies that offer meals to customers strengthening the local commercial link to produce exclusive menu 
with local products and adding this originality to the event's communication strategies with the target audience. This event is essential for developing approaches related to productivity and the labor market size the festival's voting system evaluates issues related to sustainability, the community, and the quality of employment and local icon. This festival tends to take place during the winter to create new opportunities to develop experiences and increase the circulation of money in the participating communities, reducing the need for financial aid from the government due to the drop in options during the winter in Canada. The second project is Knowledge of Life. This project takes technology and connectivity to farms to develop an education and knowledge channel about rural life for high school students and technical and professional course. For technology to work in perfect synchrony with online distance learning opportunities for these students and their respective professors, the farms will provide job opportunities for recent graduates from universities and postgraduate course who will be responsible for the development of the educational program and the feeding of information for extracurricular activities of the participants. This project diversifies the economy of farms by adding value to tourism and agriculture strategies. The third project is the Food Security Initiative. The first step is to end poverty. To increase work productivity, we need to create solutions to end hunger. All communities, urban and rural, must eliminate hunger and make this premise a priority. Exa Group Canada takes this prerogative very seriously, and we will adopt strategies to make this reality wherever we are. After all, we need strong people to bring strong communities. Grand Finale I hope this presentation has awakened in you a new vision of seeing tourism, of understanding how tourism is responsible for adding value to developing solutions for the economy, sustainability, and regeneration of rural communities. Time was short of talking about everything we needed. Still, I believe it was enough for you to be interested in new thinking, full of science, technology, knowledge practices and processes that can support us in achieving the goals of sustainable development by 2030 and achieve net zero carbon between 2035 and 2050. We need to take care of our planet, our country, our province, our communities, our families, our bodies, our minds and our lives. We are just one planet, and we need it so that happiness, love, and hope are always present in our homes. Thank you very much for your attention. To better answer your questions, email at ceo at xgroup.ca or operations at xgroup.ca or visit our website www.xgroup.ca slash contact and schedule a half hour chat with me. It will be a pleasure to expand your knowledge about the Strong Farm Destination Program and answer all your questions. Rest assured that if I do not know the answer, let's work together to shed light on, on our program's aggregate knowledge. Have a great afternoon, everyone. My strong and tight hug to all of you. Let's regenerate our planet together. Great too.